Sue Nazarani is a trailblazer, literally. Nearly 20 years ago, she helped create the rail trail in Hazleton, and she's helped maintain and promote the trail since then. Now that she is preparing to move to Florida, her friends and volunteers uh, helped held a dinner to thank her for her efforts as the chairwoman of the Greater Hazleton Rails to Trails. Nazrani told me that she liked the idea of a trail as soon as a report suggested building one in Hazleton. To quote her, she said, I liked hiking, I liked walking. It was just sort of inspiring, the possibilities. And when she joined the effort, there was no trail. A group that liked hiking met for breakfast on weekends and then walked together while scouting out routes for a trail. Since then, they've created a trail that goes nearly six miles from the main trailhead on East Broad Street into Hazleton and now into Hazelbrook. To build the trail, they overcame fears of terrorism. After 9-11, Nazarani said people worried that someone might try to poison the Drek Creek Reservoir, a public water supply along the trail, so the group installed fencing there. To cross an active rail line of the Norfolk Southern Railroad later, the group paid nearly a million dollars to build a bridge. Next, they want to extend the trail to Eckley Miners Village Museum and the Lehigh River, despite other obstacles, including flying squirrels. The trail that's in use now attracts thousands, including children on field trips, runners in charity races, and National Guard troops. On the first Saturday in June each year, hundreds attend the hike and bike, and that includes a picnic, nature walk, exhibits, all of which Nazrani has helped to organize. Now that Nazrani is leaving, the group that she leaves behind will need more volunteers to lengthen the trail to the Lehigh River. On the first try, they encountered those flying squirrels, an endangered species, actually, the northern flying squirrel. They couldn't cut the trees in which squirrels might live. Building a trail has been a hard slog, one Hazleton volunteer who worked with Masrani told me, but it's rewarding. The volunteers can see what they've accomplished with each step that they take along the trail.